This is so credible, but some might think it's incredible and some might not accept this. And I hope that, you know, my brothers and sisters do accept that. I just recorded a vid. I was thinking about this whole American Thanksgiving day, right? Which they say is the last Thursday. So it happens to be on the 27th of November, which is today, actually. And this is like, I'm recording this like more towards um, moving towards the evening time right now. So um, I just recorded a video. I wanted to say a couple of words. Actually, I think I was going to call it um, American Thanksgiving, nothing to give thanks about, right? And there's really nothing to give thanks about if you're in the spirit of truth, right? But if you're in your own feelings, thoughts, emotions, mixed up moods and attitudes, and if you if you um, see a thief and you want to consent with a thief, a thief stole something and you like, you know, stealing is wrong, but the thief stole something. You say, well, well, where's my share? Right. You're consenting with a thief. And I, I was thinking on Psalm, um, Psalm 50. And in rising up a little bit later on in the in the like afternoon, you know, I just didn't go directly to the Psalms. I went to the scripture and the meditation, but I didn't go to the Psalm. But this meditation about Thanksgiving was on my heart and mind. And then I looked in the parallel Bible. You know, I started, I'm starting to use that. I think there was a brother or one on one on RTG, RastafariGroundation.com and some of the picks. One of the picks there, um, one of the community picks was um, of, uh, I think, a by uh, uh, the, 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 what you call it again? The parallel Bible. What we call the we call it the Negus. Negus it means king, and that refers to Negus Dawit, King David, and the Psalms of David, which are often called the Negus, right? The Negus and stuff like that. But we'll touch on that hopefully a little bit more. But just wanted to share that with you. So I went to the parallel Bible, which has the King James on one side, right? The King James uh, version. And then the King of Kings, the Maui Hala Selassie version. So the Lion of the tribe of Judah, that is, right? Revelation 5.5. 5. So I was reading it and um, I went and looked and said, okay, what's the psalm for the day? Because on the inspiration, I recorded the first video, right? And hopefully I'll be able to put up that first video. I might put this up first because after I looked and saw that today's psalm was Psalm 50, Right. You know, we will say something told me, no, the Holy Spirit told me to chant that psalm and consciously. Right. In my so-called conscious mind. But it's 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 the super consciousness. Right. Or the Christ consciousness, the Moshiach mindfulness that brought that to I and I heart and I and I mind. Now, many of you all hopefully faithfully have already read that particular psalm. I don't know if you made the connection. It's a very interesting connection between what ones and ones in the seclorum or in the world, especially this Anglo, this Anglo Amorite. I call them the Anglo Amorites. They were formerly known to Anglo Americans or the Anglo Europeans, and now they're called Anglo American. This Anglo American establishment, right? Um, and we know the prophecy from from uh genesis i just touched on it briefly in the first vid and so here i want to go into a little more detail so i wanted to share this personal revelation right the personal revelation in the spirit and just meditating on what they call thanksgiving day or really american i think we have to put that make that very specific because in the psalms and in our way in the way of the messiah right he says that um, ye worship that which you know not. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews or of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Haile Selassie the first, elect of God, king of kings of Ethiopia, for I and I, right, who are of the true family and the true house and the true kingdom, right, of David, right, that was renewed in the highlands, right, in the tops of the mountains in the biblical land of Cush or Ethiopia. And we have some vids to actually touch on that, the Hebrew origins of Ethiopia. So right here, I know I, I, I sometimes touch on a lot of different points because I know I'm speaking to many different people and so that each one will be able to hear the truth or at least be able to um, recognize the revelation 
right, that has been given to I and I, and it's the prophecy. It's all about prophecy, right? This is prophecy, the spirit of Yeshua. So here in Genesis chapter 15, here's what it says. It says from verse uh, 12, it says, and when the sun was going down, as right now the sun is going down, a, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, right, which was, which was Abraham's name before his name changed, before Yahweh, right, breathed his hay within to the name and into Abraham, his grace, right, his grace into Abraham, that blessing, as well as Sarai, to become Sarah, and we touched on that, the two hays in Yahweh, yod He, yad He, yod He, yud He, weh He, right, so here it says, and he said to Abram, know of a surety. Oh, look, I, I, I think I, I missed over a phrase. Let me go over verse 12 again. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram. And lo, look and see a an horror, right? And horror, right? Of great darkness fell upon him. And he said to Abram, know of a surety, right? Know for sure, no, no doubt. Right? This is very credible. Don't call this incredible. This is credible. Right? Get your credit rating in the Mushia. What is your credit rating Right in the King of Kings and Christ? What is your credit rating in Yahweh Elohim? What is your credit rating in the Mushiach, the Bain Ha Elohim Chayim, in the Christ, the Son of the Living God? What is your credit rating? Know of a surety, know for sure, that thy seed, right, thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, as this land, this so-called American land. I mean, yes, yeah, some of us do have um, Seminole and, and Native American blood, you know, from the whole history, right? We know that some of the Native tribes are indeed Israelites, right? Some of them, right? Just like some of the, the Negroes over here, right? Or the so-called Negroes are not Israelites, Right? But we know that the prophecy is upon Israel, right? The prophecy is upon the seed, right? The seed that comes out from Yishak, right? Because in Yishak shall the seed be called, you know, Isaac means to laugh, laughter, right? You know what I mean? They got rumor, we got humor, as Burhana Selassie Bar Marley said, what more can we say about it? So the seed, the joy, right? The joy of Yahweh. Right of Jah Rastafari is I and I strength. So we know for surety that we are that seed because we are a stranger in a land that is not ours. And shall we do what? Serve them. So we have served them. And it's going to identify who are these so-called quote Americans, right? Or really Amorites, according to the scripture. It says, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them, get the year, four hundred years. And we see this 400 year manifest in at least three different ways. One, 1492, 1892, the birth of the Son of Man, right? Lich Teferi, right? Then we have um, nine, uh, 1530, right? 1530 is very significant, right? Concerning Zion, Zion, and the house of David, because he says in his word that, that David shall never lack a man. Right, David would never lack a man. Let's just do this right here. David would never lack a man, right, to sit upon his throne. Right, so we see that connection as well. That David will never lack a man, right, who would sit upon his throne, right, upon the throne of great King David. And we recognize that the rightful occupant. Of that throne is Kedemawi Haile Selassie. We know that there's some Israelites, you know, the 10 tribes also did not recognize David. And you see, this is the scripture. So we know we are speaking to our people. So we still love them, but we know they are enemies for the gospel, for the good news of the King of Kings, for the good news of the line of the tribe of Judah, Kedemawi Haile Selassie, Siyume, Ziawi, elect of God, Negus, Neges, Zet, Ethiopia. But the 400 years. Let's look at this 400 years. So we have 1492, 400 years, 1530, 400 years, right? Then we have 1619. So we're in that space of the 400 year, right? Prophecy. And also that nation, right? And we're speaking about this nation, right? This nation, look on the $1 bill, right? You see the eye of providence, but you see that pyramid there. 
And then you compare that and, and look at the history, the reality, the truth of the matter concerning the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. So come into Egypt, right? Be brought into Egypt by, with, with ships, right? And we know that that's the connection right there, right? Um, but but here's the groundation of it. Here's the groundation. It says, it says 400 years shall afflict them 400 years. So even with this Ferguson situation and, you know, that's one aspect of it. That's like the tip of it. But there's there's much affliction in spirit and in soul and in body. Right. Not just for the so-called black sheep in that level, but also for many of our native. Right. The native tribes who also are. Of that Israelitish seed, right? Like the Seminole Indians, right? So let's just make that very, very clear right there. But it says, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. So we're in this judgment time, right? The judgment on Babylon, right? And afterwards shall they come out with great substance, right? So, so this is the key groundation right here when we're speaking about this land. Right. And so when we're talking about Thanksgiving, right, according to the covenant, we have to be very, very circumspect. Now, you might have, you know, ignoramuses or ones who are ignorant, whether willingly or unwillingly, you know, they, they might be ignorant of this truth. But we who know the truth cannot act like we don't know it. Right. You know, cannot act like we don't know it. Right, because as the just shall live by faith, by our admittance. Right now, let's look at um, twenty-eight sixty-eight right here. Right, Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixty-eight. It says, "And Yahweh, right, He who be who He be, thy fine Majesty shall bring thee into what Egypt." So now in Revelation, you see that the city is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Right, so we're gonna go forward and make that connection. So we're going from Genesis. Right, Genesis chapter 15, right, Genesis chapter 15, and the key verse in Genesis chapter 15, or the key verses, but the key verse is 15, 13, right? Know of a surety, this was spoken to Abram, that thy seed shall be a strange in the land that is not theirs and shall what serve them, right? See, they say Slav, Slav is a group of European people. So they put that name on us when they took our name. When our name was taken from us, our true identity taken from us, right? And this is also prophecy. And also that nation whom they shall serve, right, will I judge. So there's also a judgment, right? So we're in this judgment time. So this explains a lot of what we are seeing, right, going on within the seclorum, within the world, flesh, and the devil, right? And the media, you know, explains a lot of what is really going on. Right. We're preparing to meet our power. Right. Preparing the marriage of the lamb, as it were. Right. While they are preparing for war. But they can't, you know, they can't war against the almighty. They can't war against ha Eloheinu, the true power. So they just preparing to war against themselves. It's a spiritual war. Right. It's a spiritual war for I and I. Right. But it's a temporal war for Esau. Right? And those who are in the spirit of Esau, we in the spirit of Jacob and Jacob recognize that Thanksgiving or so-called American Thanksgiving, there's nothing to give thanks about, right? The, not to conspire, not to consent as today's Psalm, right? Today's Psalm is Psalm 50, right? So this Psalm 50 coincides with 2014. Right, this present time, and remember, don't forget, we're still in the blood moon sign, and we're in the shimata, right? The year of release, right? This is the year of release, according to our, according to our Hebrew, right? Foundation and our Judah Yehuda ish, right? Yehuda ish, because remember, right? We are identified with the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, right? Therefore, with the you know, with, with with the throne of David. Now, like I said, there are some Israelites who, who who don't accept that, right? Well, that is their choice. Hopefully, we will bring enough facts and evidence so that if they still refuse it, they can't say that it was not fully 
right, explicated and revealed, right? It would be their choice just as the ancestors, many of the rebellious ancestors got us into this situation. We as this generation, who's like the Joshua generation, Yeshua generation coming out. But let's go forward, my brothers and sisters. So here we're in Deuteronomy 28, 68. It says, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now we already know that, right? Or we should know that, but some Negroes want to forget about that. Right. By the way whereof I spake to thee, thou shall see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold to your enemies, right? to our enemies for what bondmen and bondwoman. And it says no man shall buy. You see, it's no man that can redeem us in, in the sense of no natural man. Right. It's not the earthly man. Right. But it's the heavenly man. Right. Even our kinsman redeemer upon the throne of great King David, who we have to recognize the kingship covenant. Right. There's a priesthood covenant. Right. Which is Israel laws. Right. But regains in the Moshiach and Beshem Yeshua. Right. That's the priestly covenant. That's why he says that um, because you reject my 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 my, my, um, my commandments. Let's, let's get the word. Let's get the word. Let's get the word right here. Because there's, there's much on I and our heart to share within this brief space and time. Because this is the revelation, brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit brought it to my overstanding. Then I looked and saw that truly this is a sign because it is Psalm 50, right? Which is the psalm for this very day, right? That they call Thanksgiving. And when you know about all that's going on, if you just know a little bit about what's going on, hopefully your eyes are open. I pray that. You, you, if you have not received that repentance that Abba Father gives you, that repentance, right? You know, that repentance, right? So that you can, um, um, acknowledge the truth, right? And be saved and, 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 and saved and brought out of the sneer of Diablos, right? This conspiracy, right? Before us to say Thanksgiving to rejoice in this is to rejoice. In our own brothers and our own mother's son's affliction, right? And even to wonder why there's no justice, right? Why there's no peace? Hosea, Hosea chapter 4 speaks about the willful ignorance. Because some will hear this and they'll say, yes, that's right. But you have to understand it's not like that. It's because of this. They're going to make excuses. And so did Israel make excuses right before. Right. Because you were identifying who's who. Right. Who we're speaking to. Right. It's, it's the spirit. I right? remember the word of Elohim is the son of the thoughts and the hearts. Right. So once we hear this. Right. But then we'll make excuses and thus prove that they are truly of Israel, but are not Israel. Right. So the willful ignorance of Israel, my people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. So it's not like they didn't have any knowledge, but it's like they rejected it. Right. They reject. Right. They reject the knowledge of the king of kings upon the throne of David, the truth of Kedemah. We have like they reject the true throne of David and the occupant of the throne of David. They reject that knowledge of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon and their seed. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. So, so Slika, you understand? Um, you could have taught in a, I said, I said commandment a couple of minutes ago. So the Holy Spirit said, just go to the word. Go to the word because I'm seeing this within the spirit and I want to share this with those who can receive it right here. It says knowledge, right? That knowledge, ye shall what? Know the truth and the truth shall what? Set you free, right? But here it says there's a willful ignorance of the so-called lost sheep, right? Or the goats. They're like the goats. They're really not the sheep, but they're the goats, right? They're stubborn. Right. My people are what destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest. Right. So they, they were losing the priesthood covenant. Right. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law, the Torah. Right. Of Eloheka of thy power. I will also forget thy children. 
Right, so we look at what we look at the black youths. We look at this generation right now, the pants hanging down, and all the all, all the harlotry and whoredom and everything else, and abominant broken families and, and abuse. We look at all of this right now. We say, well, 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 who's responsible? Right, we're responsible. Right, are you response able? Right, I will also forget thy children. Right, and it says. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. This is this is the words of Yahweh, right? Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? So you hear folks saying, "Oh, you know, the generation nowadays, youths and people, they don't have no shame. Or oh, black people don't have no shame." No, no, that's that. See, that's all backward. They don't even know what they're saying. They don't know what they say from what they affirm. No, the fact is that they have they have too much shame. They glory. Right, the lost sheep take glory in their shame. Right, they take glory. What, what they don't have is no honor. Right, because they don't want to honor the Father in spirit and in truth. Right, they don't want to honor the King of Kings. They don't want to honor the half of the story. Right, are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? They don't want to know that. Right, or they want to know it in their own way. But there's a judgment. Mm hmm. There's a judgment, my brothers and sisters, and we're in this time of judgment, as we already shared with you from Genesis chapter 15, right? And some of the key verses, verse 12, 13, and 14, especially. But when you read on, it's interesting when you read on to verse 16, it says, but in the fourth generation, which generation are we in? The previous Torah portion, Toledot or Tulid, right? With the sixth Torah, the sabbatical, strong sabbatical uh, Torah portion reading and feeding was called generation. Speaking of the generation of Yishak. So what generation are we in? Right. Because here in Genesis 15 and 16, it says, but in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again. You know, people say it's like we're going backward in the past. You know, everybody says, wow, it's like we're going backward. How, how, how is this happening? Well, here's what Yahweh says. Right. Um, but in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again for what the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. And this is why American or Amorite Thanksgiving Day is nothing for us to give thanks about. Rather, right, we should lament, rather we should mourn, right? You know, rather we should watch and we should pray, right? And we should recognize what Yahweh say. Right, what he says and who he's speaking to, and not be as 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 Hosea says, right, or not to continue, right, right, in that generational curse. That's what it is upon black folks. Lord, she's what house is it's a generational curse, right? Because they they keep approving, right? They keep approving of the sayings, right, of the apostate, right, um, forefathers and foremothers. Right. You know, they keep doing what they're doing and expect a different result, but they don't repent. Right. They don't have a change of mind and recognize. Oh, oh wow. Why do we? Right. When it was a thief. Right. The the Amorites or the so-called Anglo-Europeans, the Anglo-Americans, so-called. Right. They had no divine right to take this land. It was a dispensation. Yes. It was recorded in the scripture prophetically. You understand? But they did not have right or divine authorization, right? So that's the thief right there. So when we say, well, I'm just doing the Thanksgiving thing because it's a nice thing to do and wants to ignore, right, this truth that we're speaking concerning Thanksgiving, who, who is giving thanks, right? Now, they'll, they'll, they'll go back and they'll tell you some, some fables, Right. They'll make up some Amorite fables and say, well, everybody sat down and they had a meal together and so forth and so on. But what does the word say? We just give you a portion of this right here from from today's um, psalm for the psalm for Thanksgiving. The psalm for Thanksgiving. Right. The Ethiopic psalm for Thanksgiving is a judgment right upon the Anglo Amorite. Right. The Anglo Amorite, the sinful kingdom. It's a judgment. Right. It's a judgment. Here it says right here, he says, uh, but to the wicked, right? But to the wicked, right? Elohim, the power saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Didn't America say it's a Christian nation? Wasn't they using the Bible? Right? This is what Yahweh said to them. So people say, oh, the Bible approve of that. No, Yahweh already told 
told them, what right does the wicked have to just take this in their mouth? But the wicked is that, right? Seeing thou hatest instruction. They, they hate Torah, right? They hate the old covenant, right? You know, the foundation of morality, right? Um, and casteth my words behind thee. They talk about the Ten Commandments and they all the stone. They're stone worshipers, right? They want to put it up in front of a court building, but they don't want to put it in their hearts and their minds. And even recognize where, okay, it's not them, but it was their ancestors. But in continuing in this vain tradition, right, of Belial, of Belial, right, this worthless tradition, you're approving of what started it all out. You, you can't make a separation and say, oh, well, it's not really about that, but it is about that. You are lying to yourself, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. Right? Because they'll say, oh, well, you don't have to bring the Bible in it. What does this Bible have to do with it? You understand? When you go to a court, they want you to, what, swear or affirm on a Bible, and they've been using that, right? But now they, you know, now they want to backtrack. Now they want to cast the words behind them. Here, here's the verse. Here's the penultimate right here. Verse 18. When thou sawest a thief... Right. Well, the white man took this from other people. They say, oh, no, you know, they're making up all these lies. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Right. When thou sawest a thief. Right. Right. Because remember, the enemy, the devil only comes to do what? To steal, to kill and to destroy. Isn't that what we see in so-called American history? Isn't that what we see For, from the very beginning, from the first ships coming over, at least a little after that? Right? Isn't that the first thing that we see? Isn't that all that we see? When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him. Right? You are in consent with a thief. And you wonder why you don't get no justice and you have no shalom. You have no peace. Right? Because you saw the thief. Right? This is what the whole civil rights movement and everything going down to Egypt was all about. And the previous Torah portion told the dole, Yishak is told not to go down to Egypt. That even if there's going to be a famine, right, to abide in the promised land, right, to abide in the land, he will feed you, he will sustain you, right? But see, that's, that's based on faith, right? Not fake, right? When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him. When you saw... You know, when our so-called nigger, Negro ancestors going back to the 60s and everything else like that, when they saw what the white man had, right, and how he was living lovely in luxury, they wanted to integrate. They saw him and they wanted to consent. You understand what that word means? Consent with him. And every year we consent so many times a year in these heathen, right, in these pagan, and really downright, you boil them down, they're evil. These evil, holy, fo folly days. Right? Uh, whole lie days. Right? Because the harlot, the whore, these are whole lie days. Right? It says right here, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil. By me saying, happy Thanksgiving. Am I not giving my mouth to evil? Happy for who? Right? The same one that did it to them and then did it to us. But I'm going to be like, well, at least we're celebrating. This is what they had a day like a, 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 a kind of a Thanksgiving day when they brought the niggas over. I mean, they basically do, but they don't tell you overtly. But it's what they had that. You would say that's racist. Right? That's racist. That's wrong. Because you'll be thinking about the what? The, the, yourself as a victim. Right? But what about our brother? Right? Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue framest deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Verse 20 in Psalm 50, 20. Right? Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Right? Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Right? And what, uh, and you see, in the counterfeit so-called Christianity, right? You know, the counterfeit Christianity. Right. Or the Gentile. Really, it's the Gentile form of Christianity. There's a Hebrew form, but that, that's a whole other study right there. Right. In the Gentile form of Christianity, you know, they say, oh, well, Jesus loves everything. God loves everything. And they hold the Bible in their hand and just blaspheme. You know, like when they go to court, they put their hand in the Bible and say, swear to tell the truth. The whole truth is nothing but the truth. So you got blah, 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 blah. Right. And they put their hand in the Bible. Yes, I do. You know what I mean? But they, they, they lie. 
right? It says, these things hast thou done. These things have been done. We, you know, we can't say, well, that was a long time ago. I didn't have anything to do with it, right? But yet you're building on that very um, shaky and sandy foundation. And you wonder why it's hard to stand. These things hast thou done and I kept silent. The Almighty seems to have kept silent. Right in this half an hour space, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself, you know. So they really think that well, God approves of what they do, you know. You know that old thing. Oh, if I'm lying, God so do this, God so do that, and if it doesn't happen, they figure, oh, you know, that's some little superstitious, you know, some superstition witchcraft. You understand? But what the Almighty is saying is because He kept silent, right? They thought that that you know. You know, they said, like, bless the Lord, you know, when they, 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 our possessors who slay us, you know, because they have gotten rich, right? And it shows that right there in the scripture as well. This is what is so interesting. Brothers and sisters, please begin to study, right? You know, it's a little bit at a time, you know what I mean? You know, you need those spiritual um, 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 vitamins, you need those spiritual um, minerals, you know, um, nutriments for your soul, for your spirit, Yovas, here it says, these things hast thou done. So these things have been done against the so-called Native Americans, right? And I kept silent and it seemed like the Almighty kept silent because they continued to go on and they prospered and everything. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. But, right, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now all these things are coming to pass, right? Well, a lot of those hidden things, people are beginning to, you know, you see videos out there, you know, ones are beginning to um, know what they didn't know, right? You know, what was suppressed, that the truth crushed down to the earth will rise again. Now the truth is rising up and people are really beginning to realize and recognize. That's why it says, now consider this. Consider this, ye that forsake Elohim, ye that forsake the true power, right? The power of the truth. Least I tear you in pieces like the line of the tribe of Judah, and there be none to deliver, because he is the deliverer, right? Whoso offereth praise, right? Glorifieth me. If we offer true praise, right? Our thanksgiving is every day, brothers and sisters. Our thanksgiving is every day. Right. Every day. This is the day that Yahweh has made. I and I will rejoice. Right. And be glad in it. We don't need nobody to tell us. Oh, well, you can wait for November. The last the Thursday, in November. That's the Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? They're not God. Right. But they think they are because they they whitewash. They cover the face of the judges. They whitewash our black Lord and Savior's image. They lied to themselves. Right. And their children. Right. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me and to him that ordereth his conversation aright about righteousness. Will I shew the salvation, the Yeshua of Ha Elohim, brothers and sisters. This is what I wanted to share with you. Psalm 50 is the psalm for the day. Hallelujah. Right. To Yahweh and his Moshiach, I and I, black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So more to come, brothers and sisters. Stay tuned. Shalom. Rastafari. This is Wendem Yadin reporting. Shalom.